bgflood.org. For more information on FanFest, go to bghotrods.com. It's FanFest 2010, Saturday, March 13th from 12 to 5 p.m. at Bowling Green Ballpark. Tony Rose Morning Show, 820 on your uh, Monday morning. Uh, yeah, Stephen Aaron in the house, then uh, on the line with us. Uh, the, uh, they have the new book, The uh, Politician. You know him. You've seen him in the news. Someone Oprah here recently. It's Andrew and Sherry Young. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? I'm yes. still recovering from Oprah, but Sherry's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, yeah, Oprah, now that's the experience right there, isn't it? Oh, Man. my Lord, I was so scared. I thought I was going to be hung up by a parts of my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't be that rough on this show, I promise. <laughs> Uh, she didn't hold back. I mean, is that? I mean, did you did you did you see any of her line of questioning coming on the show when you guys were there? Well, and I, I want to answer this one, Sherry. I mean, I, I tell you, there has been people have wondered why we're smiling or why we're this or that. After two and a half years of putting up with this crap and being bullied yeah. by people who are who are worth millions and millions of dollars, right. it feels so good to be telling the truth. Right. It feels so good to be out from underneath the rock and yeah they're going to come after us with what rocket launchers but but it feels good one for our our, our marriage to survive and two right. to be telling what happened right right and of course uh, what happened is uh a shocking story it just it, it seems like it just keeps spinning you know more and more in different levels and different deeper levels as you guys uh as we you know find out more and more about it kind of i mean with the john edwards situation i don't even know where to really start with this where where do you guys start telling the story at usually sure you want me to do that uh, yeah yeah you start i mean i um, I, you know, I, I had always been, my dad was a minister, really involved yeah. in like the civil rights movement in the 70s and, and did a bunch of, he was very active in, in, in politics and right. uh, he got me hooked on it and then um, I, I kind of dabbled in it going through law school and stuff like that. Right. But then in 1997, Sherry and I were at the beach and we happened to hear this guy who had just won the Democratic nomination speak. Yeah. Sherry didn't want to go, we go in there. And this guy gave the most incredible speech I'd ever heard. Right. And I'd heard Billy Graham. I'd heard Martin Luther King Sr. I'd heard right. some incredible speakers. And I looked at Sharon. I said, damn, this guy's going to be president one day. Right. And um, she looked at me and just said, let's go to the beach. You <laughs> <laughs> should have walked away at that moment. <laughs> always listen to the, the, to the wife. We're though, always right. Well, what yes. happened to was, me now, yeah. believe me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. But, but what happened was I started working for him, and I quickly became his right-hand man. Right. And, I, and we just, you know, for the next, you know, for the next several years, we had three kids. Sherry was working at the hospital a lot. Um, but we killed ourselves to make him president. And, and I want to draw a fine line because people think of him as this despicable jackbutt. Right. But in the early years, he was a great guy. He was, you know, he and I went to basketball games together. We jogged. We got to be very, 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 it was like a big brother to me. Right, right. And, and I think, then, is, is that kind of what hurts more than anything, is the fact that you, you guys were like best friends, and he kind of, I mean, well, yeah. he, you, yeah, you we kind of took the bullet, you took the bullet for him, is what you did. Yeah, you know? and, then, and then after I did it, he turned his back on me and never spoke to me again. Yeah, that's, oh, man. And it just, the levels of this, I was just reading some excerpts from the book. What was the straw that kind of broke the camel's back for you? The one for me, I don't know about for sure, but the one for me was when I called him the night asking, uh, you know, Riel had just had the baby and yeah. desperately wanted to talk to him. And he was in the middle of negotiations with Obama and Hillary about um, negotiating for being their vice president. Right. And he said, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy. Wow. And I just realized then, I mean, we're all disposable to him. Yeah, man. And now, how tough was it? I know we've got limited time, but about 30 seconds for you guys as a married couple to fight through this? Was it tough, or did it just automatically make you guys stronger once everything finally got out there to the I public? Hope I hope you've got your beat button on for Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it was not easy. And we, I do feel like we've hit rock bottom, and we're on yeah. the way up. We have a long way to go um, in every different direction. But um, Before I go too far, honey. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was very tough on us, and, wow. um, but we survived it. So. Well, uh, I know how can folks find out more about this story, the book. Uh, give us a real quick plug in there before we let, it, uh, let you get out of here. I know you're very busy with everything. Uh, the Politician, right? It's The Politician, and we're on eight national bestseller lists. Uh, we just signed a contract with Ari Emanuel, who thinks that it'll make like a great 
West Wing kind of movie. So awesome. Well, uh, it uh, it is a it is a sad and a shocking story, but one that is out there now, and I think a lot of folks, you know, it's it's good to get the real uh, get the real truth out there sometimes with this stuff. So um, well, and, yeah. and a lot of people have called me that are working on the hill or or who yeah. have worked on the hill, and they say it's the most accurate depiction of what it's like wow. behind the scenes. Wow. Um, and I think people can learn a lot a lot of personal lessons, but they can also learn about how disgusting our, our present national system is and yeah. that there are very easy ways to change how we select our presidents and make it a better system. Well, Andrew and Sherry, thank you guys so much for coming on and uh, continued uh, best of luck and uh, fight through this. And we look forward to uh, hearing some good news coming y'all's way. Uh, well, y'all call at the same well. time. We enjoy talking to you. Appreciate it. There you go. Andrew and Sherry Young right there. Uh, the new book, The Politician, exposing the real stuff that's going on. Up in Washington, especially with John Edwards. Exposing. Drama. High drama. It's, a, it's an interesting choice of words. Exposing. <laughs> Huey Lewis and the news. We'll talk more about this coming up. 100.7 Sam FM.